would be fun to write a texting code for the micro bits using the radio code blocks. I want to send the word go to my friend's micro bit. To do that, I'm gonna press the button A on my micro bit to get to the letter I want. I want a G. If I go too far, I can press button B to go backwards in the alphabet. When I press A plus B together, the G shows up on a second micro bit. So now I go back and I press button A until I get to the letter O. I press A plus B together and it sends O to the second micro bit. If I shake my micro bit and I press button A, I'm back to letter A. There are a few different ways you can make a texting code, but this is how I made my version. I am going to start a new project and call it texting. I know that I'm going to be sending radio signals between two micro bits so that they can text. So on start, I need to go into radio and put the radio set group. It can be any number between zero and 255. The way I'm gonna set this up is that when I press button A, I'm gonna get button A out here. When I press button A, it's gonna select a letter. To do that, I'm going to have to make a variable that I call letter. And I'm going to assign the micro bit to change the letter by one every time I press button A. Then I need to tell the micro bit to show me what letter I am at when I press button A. I'm going to go into logic and I need if true then. And just to start easy, I'm gonna tell the micro bit that if the letter number equals one, so I need zero equals zero from logic. From variables, I need letter. I'm gonna put that in the first zero. So if the letter equals one, then I want it to show the letter A. If I press button A twice, I want it to show the letter B. If I press it three times, I want it to show the letter C. So I'm going to need 26 of these if else then spots so that I can get all of the letters in here. All right, a quick and easy way that I'm going to do this is just to copy or duplicate this and then change it to a two. Then I'm gonna duplicate it and change it to a three. I'm gonna do that all the way until I get to 26. Okay, I am almost done duplicating this 25 times so that I have 26 numbers or 26 letters. All right, so I have if the letter equals one through 26, and now I need to go add the letters. So I have if it's one to show string A, I'm gonna duplicate that. So if it's two, I'm gonna show string B. If the letter equals three, I'm gonna show the string C, the letter C. All right, let's duplicate this as many times as we need so we can get all the letters in. Okay, I'm almost done here. I just need two more letters. Y and Z. Now let me test it out over here. If I press A, or if I press button A, it says A, B, C, D, and it should go through the whole alphabet. What I wanna do next is copy this whole thing because I want to be able to go backwards in the alphabet. So if I just duplicate this by holding down on my iPad or by right clicking, I can duplicate the whole thing. Whoopsie. Change it to button B pressed. And instead of changing the letters by one, I want it to go to minus one so that the letters are going backwards if I press button B. So let's try it. Button A gives me A, B, C. Now if, if I press button B, it will go back down to B and then A. 
I also want to be able to go all the way back to the beginning of the alphabet if I shake the micro bit. So I'm going to get an on shake button. If I shake the micro bit, I want it to go back to the variable being a zero. So it's going to set the letter to zero. And then I want to know it worked. So I'm going to show a smiley face. Okay, and I might want to make it a little more complicated later, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it this way. Now I need to tell the micro bit to send the letter when I press A plus B together. So I need an on button A that I change to A plus B. When I press A plus B, I want it to send a letter. So I am going to duplicate this whole if then else part. But I'm going to then have to go in and change some of it. So I'm going to tell the micro bit that if the letter equals one, instead of show string A, it needs to send that letter. So it, I need to go into radio and get radio send string and put an A right there. And then I can get rid of this show string A. I don't really need it, but I need to copy this radio send string for every letter so that every letter can be sent. That might take me a while. All right, I'll come back when I'm done. So I have finished with all my radio send strings A through Z, and now I need to tell the micro bit what to do when it receives one of these strings. I want it to show the letter. So I'm going to radio and on radio received, received string, I need it to show it. I'm going into basic, I'm gonna pull out show string hello. And of course I don't want the second micro bit to show hello, I want it to show the letter that I'm sending. So it's gonna show the received string. Let's check it out on my micro bit here. I'm going to press button A and it is changing the letters for me. And if I want to send the letter, I'm going to press A plus B. That pulls up the second micro bit. Let me press A plus B again. Got the I over here. Let's say I'm, I'm going to push button A until I get to the M. A plus B sends the letter M. So that's how my texting code works. There's a few things that I might want to tweak a little bit. For example, if I press button A and it gets to the letter 27, nothing's gonna happen. So maybe if I get to 27, I want it to um, set the letter back to zero or something. Um, and maybe I want to send some things besides letters, like maybe I want some punctuation in here. There's a few other things that I would tweak if I was gonna try to make this perfect. But for what I wanted to do today, it will work pretty well. So have fun making this code, texting with a second micro bit. I hope you enjoyed it.